Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Um, we got some exclusive content for you guys today. Uh, we will be previewing uh, Hat Heaven's major drop next week. Um, if you guys are in the room, please drop a like and uh, let us know you're here. Yeah. I don't know if we've ever gone live on a Tuesday before or a Monday before. No, I don't think so. We got to keep them on their toes, I guess. Mm. We got some people already tuning in. Someone already gave us a thumbs down, too. Mm. <laughs> I hear yours. We must be annoying to hate, though, because like, we're always around, you know? Like, that's got to. I hate Monfu when he's always on here with me. I don't want to go that far. Uh, hat, have a. Exclusive. Sneakers. Remember when I remember when I threatened to smear my car in peanuts because he has a nut allergy? Yeah. TJ, the socks is trash. Good hats though. The white they're socks actually, are good. Really, they're really good this year. Man. I'm just <laughs> I'm just talking shit, bro. They're really good this year. I mean, they they bottomed out for years and got really good picks and traded everyone. Well, they got Mancata from the Red Sox. Mm-hmm. Like you're never going to get fair value when you try to t- pitch your like Chris Sale, but it's not a bad haul. Hey, um, <laughs> hey uh, Jason, can you hit play? Go. Yeah. I don't know what happened there. Jason Hill cooking dinner. What's for dinner, Jason Hill? Oh, we lost it. No, oh, it's the keynotes. Live TV. Mm-hmm. They don't want a refund for our free show. I know. What are you drinking, Monfu? A Sprite? <laughs> Was that right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even drink Sprite that often, but... Did you got a big gulp there or something? Huh? A big gulp or something? Nah, it's a fucking Sonic cup, bro. Sonic. Sonic. We don't got Sonic over here. Good. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic is Sonic is is good. You yeah. like Sonic? Oh, see, um, is Sonic better than Denny's? Denny's? Or is that different? Denny's? Is that different? I like Denny's more. Oh, yuck, bro. Sonic is just gre. It's just. I hop. I hop or Denny's. I hop. Like the same shit. Same shit. I'll go. I'll take I hop. I I feel that. I like I hop. Denny's. I like their sandwiches. The restaurant I hate most is Applebee's. I, I absolutely feel hate that. that. I absolutely hate that place. I don't think I've ever been to Denny's. Well, not Leon, when for you make, breakfast when you, when or you make not. your when you make your trip down here, Leon, we'll 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 eat at, eat at a different breakfast spot every morning. Yeah. So it's either breakfast or four a.m. There's no in between. <laughs> There's like, well, let's go to Denny's for lunch. There's not. That's none of that. Yeah. What I like about Sonic are the drinks. Yeah, I mean, the drinks are cool. I like their their little shit. This is the thing. I eat the bullshit at Sonic. I go there and get a grilled cheese because mm. you can't fuck that up. But like their burgers and shit, mm, it's not for me. You guys ready to get started? Let's mm-hmm. do it. Let's do it. So, I guess we can leave this up, right? Um, welcome right to now, the vault. Yeah. yeah, welcome to the vault, people. Um, the good people over at Hat Heaven, shout out to Brian, um, has uh, graced us with uh, some previews of what's coming out next week on Monday. Um, spoiler alert, it's a lot of grays, a lot of good grays. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, we, we thought you, we'd give you guys about a week's notice. That way you can kind of scout what you want to go for and, you know, kind of uh, plan your your, your, your uh, area of attack. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So, Pierre, take it away. Yeah, they're the king of the, uh, of the good grays and the restock. But today we're going to zero in on what I think, it, you know, I've been buying from Hat Heaven for a long time. I think this is one of the best drops I've ever had, and I'm not just saying that. It's really good. This is a really good drop. And what I like about how many, there's a lot of hats here. 
And what's good about that too, is it allows you a chance to get more than one of what you want, which I think is mm-hmm. also fantastic because it's so deep. There's so many. And I, I, listen to me, it's, it's a great opportunity. If you're missing in other places, let's um, let's dive into hat heaven and, uh, and win, you know, get that W right. Yes, sir. So let's take a look. So um, they had a ton of stuff going on. Jason, me put, put it all, uh, put it all together for us. So we'll see a couple hats per slide, right, Jason. So we get yep. a good look at everything. Mm-hmm. So let's start here. So um, you got that Arizona Diamondbacks with that 2001 uh, world series patch. And then you've got that twins with a 60th uh, anniversary patch. Um, you know, that the, the Arizona, like that's a, that's one that you've seen uh, quite often uh, from different vendors. Right. But uh, still, it's it's not in stock anywhere right now. So, mm-hmm. you know, no. so it'll be and in it's stock got the left side pass. It's a lefty. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a lefty, lefty too. So yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a big gotta deal get too. You a get it. Patch, you gotta get it. Field. Got the Randy Johnson. Facts. Right? That Randy classic Johnson. shit. Yeah. And then that Twins one, I like. I think he said it's a jersey hook. Because they used yeah. to wear powder. Okay. They used to wear powder. Yeah, but th- that's a nice looking. That's a nice looking hat too. Anything mm-hmm. powder blue for me is good, man. Um, and that gray under, obviously classic. But these are two great hats. What do you guys think? Solid. I'm all in on the Arizona. I feel like I had, <clears throat> like I had it or whatever. But I'm like, yo, it's a lefty, so I'm all in on that one. Yeah. I don't think I have that version of it, so. That twins. I'm all in on that. That one. twins one is good. Yeah. I'm digging the powder blue. Yeah. All right, let's move to the next, next, uh, next uh, two hats. Okay. Some All right, Boston so we got the hats. Boston Boston Bees on the left. Uh, they were in existence for what uh, three years. They were the Boston Bees or something like that. Right. You got the Boston Braves um, on the right, correct? Or that's the Boston. Yeah, that's Braves. Boston Braves. Yep. There's oh, a Boston oh. Bees. There's a Boston Bees logo that looks just like that too. Okay. Um, so you know we've seen I, we've seen the one on the left before from Hat Club, but we haven't seen it in a while. Um, and I do, um, I do think there were Boston, uh, Boston, uh, Braves hats in red. Um, I'm not sure who released them, but I've seen them before, but these are two classics as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I well, don't know. I'll, go ahead. Yeah. I, I feel like the, the hat club Boston bees had a, like a black outline around the white or, or something. There's this one's slightly different. I don't like, think so. Can't figure out why but I, th- I think uh for you released the one on the right but in uh like a cardinal red and icy blue i believe okay mm-hmm. i have one with red and gray okay fair enough but still again you know we'll, we'll key in on this neither of these hats are in stock anywhere right now yeah no, yeah. no not they're not and I'm, boston, I'm grabbing the one on the right for sure oh yeah yeah that's yeah. a nice hat the that's boston bees i already have but that's a nice looking hat too the colors mm-hmm. are nice on that um yeah i think they've abandoned the detailed batterman as people are asking in the comments it looks like they've abandoned it so that's a good thing because i think that was the only qualm people had with their stuff now i'm not, i haven't looked through every single picture to, to identify whether or not there's a detailed batterman but these certainly don't have it so normally <clears throat> normally it's the same batterman but then they just make it tonal so like whether it's detailed or not it's just whether or not they make that shadow part a different color right that makes sense all right, let's move on to the next. Oh, All right, there we go. He's back. Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> so that's back. a that's a Cleveland hat, correct? That is a Chicago Cubs, 34, oh, 35. Oh, Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Damn, yep. that's old. That is old. Um, I've seen that with a white logo on a navy cap before. Yeah, probably. I think this is a, you know, he he colored it with their current colorway. Um, but they would have probably been navy and, and white back then. Mm-hmm. He did the same thing with the one on the right, which to me is a must cop because those usually are available in red and white or blue and white. This mm-hmm. one's in black and white. So old logo, new colors. I'm all in on the Are one you on in right. on that one, Andre? You already know. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> a good hat. that's a good ass hat. Definitely a good hat. I like this page. I mean, I really like all this shit for the most part. You know what I mean? I. <laughs> Like you can't yeah. go wrong with most of these hats. I had a hard time, like uh, showing self control. Oh, uh, I already know. So I didn't. <laughs> the, the, the thing with Brian is, is there's very little times where there's no rhyme or reason for a hat. There's usually some sort of, you know, reason or some sort of hook or some sort mm-hmm. of like uh, meaning behind it. And I love that shit. So you know, Brian, yeah. keep it up. 
No different here, right? All yeah. right, so let's move on. All right, this These, is the other. Yeah. That one all the way on the left, I absolutely love. Yeah. Okay. I believe so, that's a spring. Is a spring training logo? Yeah, it's like a, it yeah. looks like a yeah, it's a spring training logo. But it, I love that hat. I love it. What are you guys thinking on this slide? For me, I usually just like the F Marlins logo. Um, that's just me, though. I I know a lot of people like the other logos. I just never been a fan of the other ones. So, but I there's I do like the middle one, and the one on the left is cool. Like collectors, why I just wouldn't, you know what I mean? I wouldn't rock it if that makes sense. Well, I would. I feel it. I like that thing. Kind of um, like the one on the right. These ones are nice. Um... With Florida, it's like t- for me. I don't know for some reason it's tough to collect. I already have a bunch of Florida or, or Miami stuff, but the one on the right, if I had to pick one, it would be that one. So it's like the new Miami Marlins, well, like the newish Miami Marlins in the oldish colors. It's like it's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. That one on the left, you're not gonna. You probably. I mean, it's just. It's so definitely different. different. Yeah, it's different. I feel that, but I mean, I circled eight. <laughs> in this package so so yeah. someone had to you know get cut how many did i circle 16 17 i believe i had to man i know i know There's i was i was rougher now. on my cuts i think a little bit but hey it is not a bad looking hat yeah. even the one in the middle is cool that one's different they don't always use that logo that's Maybe. my least favorite of the three right here though fair enough I mean, all of them, no side patches either. So for the no side patch gang and the people that don't like side patches, like, don't get your fill while you can, you know? like Yeah. And very so few side, right? yeah, very few side patches overall in this in this drop. Yeah. Br- Brian can. said something interesting. He's like, you know, if I had a side patch on every one of them, you buy 10 hats. That's, you know, one or two hats you could have, you can get additional. Because yeah. of, pri- of the price point. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Marlins were definitely represented in this drop. Let's see what's next. Mm. All right, I'm a little, I'm, a, I'm a little sick of that World Series 2020 uh, side yeah. patch, but that doesn't mean it's not a good hat. Yeah, uh, I do like the colorway on the left, though. I do too. Yeah, a little bit. I don't think I got that one. You might have to double back here. Oh shit! Looks like I'm at eight. I like that again. one though. See, the one on the right is cool because it's like a current event hat, you know, 2020 just happened, but it's done in like the old style. You got the, the uh, flat batterman, you got the gray under. So if you're a fan. Well, he also he sw- also switched out the color of the yellow. It's He's using metallic gold, um, whereas it's uh, normally a, a yellow. Mm, I forgot the name patch. of the yellow. He said lemon something, right? Lemon yeah. zest or something. Right. I, I, I don't know. I like the one on the left, though. I, I do, do too. I like that one a lot. I've wanted a, a red LA hat now for a while, and I kind of always feel like, eh. But this one, I like the patch. I like the gold hit around it. That shit was cool. I had a whole bunch of – in the peak of pandemic, I had a whole bunch of red LA hats and playing with no, no, no side patch. And I did post-production embroidery of, like, NWA, mm-hmm. um, Jurassic 5. I did all kinds of stuff like that with them. But Stop. I don't know, man. I like that hat. Yeah, I do too. All right, let's uh let's move on to the next slide. Mm. Yeah, a drop wouldn't be complete without some uh Montreal mm-hmm. heat, right? I wasn't I wasn't I'm not necessarily feeling the red one. The red so, one is dubbed the Leon two. Yeah. I nothing to do with it, but yeah. No. <laughs> I mean it could be named the Pierre is King. I still don't like it. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I, I think it's like a candidate hook, I believe he told yeah. me. Yeah. That's why. <clears throat> Yeah. I claim all of Canada, so you know. <laughs> oh, okay. This was honestly, um, this was honestly my uh, my least favorite hat of the drop that uh, that Expos one, but the one on the left, I like that a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot. Classic. Yep. It's like a remix uh, on a, on on a field because I don't think they ever wore it like that, right? I don't think so. Don't yeah. think so but it feels like they should have wore it. Yeah, you know? I was gonna say. I mean, it feels like that would have been an on field hat. I don't, yeah, that's what's cool about it. I've got to get better about like for me. You know what's weird is the Red Sox really don't have a lot of variations over the years. Mm-hmm. You know, no. I could tell you what they. So like for me, like when I hear people like talk about like 
like you, Leon, when you talk about the Blue Jays and what they wore, what year, I'm like, Jesus, man. I mean, that's a lot of detail. You know, the Red Sox don't have that sort of detail, you know? Yeah. It's like the Dodgers and the Yankees. None of them, none of us have that kind of detail. Yeah. Uh, There's good and bad to it, right? Like, you know what you're going to get and it's classic and, you know, whatever. But at the same time, there's not much, you know, flavors. So uh-huh. it's yeah. like, it goes both ways, you know? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at what's next. Uh, all right, more, more expos. Yep. Yeah. I do – the one on the right, I don't know what that's all about, but I like it. Yeah. Um, it's, a it is a, it's, a, it's a nod to the Korean flag, I believe. Oh. Something like that. I don't know where – yeah. I don't, I'm not sure where the yellow comes from, but um, – That's like gold, it, though, right? Yeah, you know, yeah I think it is. He's, he's got a name, Montreal, Korea. Yeah, I think it is gold because you can tell the batterman is gold. I might have to snatch that. I kind of like that one. It. I, that one I did, even without knowing what it was, I still got it. Yeah, the one on the left is cool too. It's uh, that it's that co- same color we saw on the previous slide. This time with a the, the nice 35th anniversary side patch. Uh, Montreal hats are are great, man. And yeah. they're starting to get to the point now where they sell. They're one of the first ones to sell out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Vlad Senior vibes. Like when Liz, Liz did that Roy G. Biv, the mm-hmm. first one that was gone was the Expos. was gone in seconds. Yeah. The local's cool to play with because it's got multiple colorways. Like, so if you're doing like a really colorful hat, you can kind of incorporate it. Yeah, it's also – it's just a cool logo. Mm-hmm. And it's these, nice these in fact, uh, three out of four dentists will approve. Yes. Nice, too. He's giving us a, a – Patch version and a patchless version of that two tone. Yeah, the toothpaste fitted facts. Yep. Yep. All right. You ready to see what's next? Well, athletics action here. Oh, uh, yeah. Stomper. Stomping around. It's clean we one. Got, uh, yeah. And the one on the right is the Philadelphia Athletics. Mm-hmm. As well. uh, it should be, yeah. Navy. Yeah, I like that. These are clean. Mm hmm. Mm. That club have released one on the left pretty much like last week, right? Did they was it all gray though? I don't think they did the, the gray elephant. I thought the elephant the was elephant was colored a little differently. Definitely had more yeah. black in the face and it would only had green at the bottom, but pretty similar. Mm-hmm. It was that beat him to the punch a little bit. I'm going for one of these. I'm going for the one on the right. Yeah. Yeah, I like the hat. It's clean. Yeah. I don't know. I like stop like the elephant head, but like the full body stomper. I don't know. I'm not as big a fan, but I know there's a lot of people that are. I agree. I kind of like this one though, because it has like the extra outlining around it that I feel like it kind of makes it a little bit more defined, yeah. like on the green, you know what I mean? Like the green, yeah. I do. I do like that about this one, but I do agree with you. It kind of, I don't know. It kind of gets muddy a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the one on the right, man, you can wear that any day of the week with whatever, That's- man. That's yeah. the yes, like a staple hat. You know, yeah, just put it on whenever. You know, you know what I thought about. This is like um, hat heaven to me is like the sock drawer. You know, it's like yeah. you always need them; they're always there. You know, Essential. it's just I don't know. There's something about it, man. It's 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 just it's just good stuff, man. It's like you know, like Andre, you were telling me you always uh, you know, you always pick up a white T-shirt almost every day, right? Yeah. And that this is the this is the kind of stuff you need every day, like yep. these these sorts of hats, which is why I love hat heaven, man. They're all the cool basics that you need. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's move on, fellas. I I really like the one on the left. I don't, I don't know why. Um, it's the uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates nineteen seventy nine World Series patch uh, mm-hmm. in brown. The only thing that was weird about this one is the 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 um, the negative space in the six. Yeah, that was the only thing yeah. that I found to be odd. Oh yeah. 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 This was the last last second cut for me. I really wanted to buy this one, but like it's just, I bought it. Um, I don't it's know. Nice it's nice though. It is. It's in brown with that white. I don't know. It's just a nice colorway. Yeah, it is. It's a good hat. It's a smooth hat. Yeah. What about the one on the right? What do you guys think about that one? The Mel Gibson. Yeah. Not a fan of that logo. It reminds me of them. the Barry Bonds, Bobby Bonilla days. Yeah. But not in a good way. No. I feel like this would be like a good jersey patch or a good side patch, but I don't know if as that doesn't like translate well on a as a primary logo on the front. I feel like 
like I get it if you're a Buckles fan, like you you get it to have it in your collection, but I don't know if yeah. like people are clamoring for this one. Uh I bet people are. Think so? I, mm-hmm. I like the colors of it for sure. The colors is nice. Yeah. People are gonna like this hat, man. Like Cardinal and gray, right? Mm-hmm. Like a maroon almost. Yeah, he's got it listed as maroon. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice hat. I like the one on the left better though. Yeah, yeah agreed. I'm there with you. Yeah. That's a nice Did they nice win color. that World Series? Uh, no, they lost the Orioles, I think. Orioles? Okay. I think. 79? I don't know. Someone can fact check me. I 75th think they lost. is Yankees, right? Yankees? Yeah, yeah. That's, ni- that's the 1978 where they beat the Dodgers. Dodgers, yep. yeah. Okay. Can so- someone will fact check me, though. I think uh, Pittsburgh lost to the Orioles that year. But this was like right when like Clemente was coming up, kind of? No, this would have been after. No, Clemente after. was after. This- yeah, Willie, Star- been- Willie Stargell was, on- was the yeah. best player on their team. Okay. All right, let's uh, – and, and that's not because I'm old, because I was only I was only two at the time. No, but you know you're baseball. Yeah, so let's – Baseball let's, cards. Uh, let's move on to the next uh, the next slide. Yeah, I like that. So this Tigers is almost like kind of the third of the Albino Tigers, I would say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Because they did the Lakeland and Oneata, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Tigers in uh, – Navy. In Navy, right? Does um, he have this coming in Navy? I don't know, but I think I think he does. Um, yeah. but I'm not sure when. Might yeah. be June. I'm not waiting for it. I'm getting this yeah, one. Oh, the the I was wrong. The Pirates won that World Series. You can yeah. tell that's a good bang with that. The Orioles. Too. Yeah, I need that. I also like that mint KC. I do too. Yeah, it's Tiffany's hook. Yeah, it's nice, man. Really nice. Yeah, it is. I mean, oh, if, if it's a, uh, it looks like a Bengal tiger, so it's got to come from Bangladesh, right? It is. How convenient. Which hat do you like better here? I like them both, but I bought the one on the left. Uh, I'm going with the, the red tigers by a hair, by a tiger's tail. <laughs> by a tiger's tail. <laughs> Talk. One on the right is nice once you start once you keep nice. looking at it. It's different. It's different. It feels like clean. Yeah, it's a toss up. Where were you, Bear? Where were you? Uh, Casey. By if they if they had done that Detroit one in blue, yeah, that yeah. would have won for me. Yeah, because it's a series. You got to get them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I wonder if. I was wondering if he is going to do a blue with an orange. I swear he. Orange. Th- I thought yeah, he told. You I thought he told us albino tiger. You saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like a navy. He did the other it with two, the two the, yeah, he did it in navy. The other two are their minor league affiliates. Um, they look really good. I yeah, mean, I, I, yeah, I'd love to have the Tigers one, but I don't know. I like that. Um, I definitely like uh, like that KC hat though. All right, let's see what's next, fellas. There's still more, still more. All right, so you've got that's a cool ass colorway in that Mariners one, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it is forest green with gold, right? Yeah, he's got it as a hook here. Let me find it. St. Mary's hook? Um, no. Damn it, where'd it go? Uh, continue on. I'll find it. The one on okay. the right's got to be a hook to something. No, it is. That one is a hook to something. Oh, the one on the right is uh, from that Supra from Fast and the Furious. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And the one on the left is uh, Legend of Zelda. Uh, mm. I'll tell you what, man. I, I hated that Fast and the Furious series, but I'll still get the hat on the right. Mm-hmm. Flat logo, too. I like that hat, man. That thing is cool as hell. That's yeah. wild for him, too. That's wild, man. That's like really pushing yeah. the envelope yeah. for him. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? You push, yeah, I, keep look, I feel I like that hat will good in hand, though. We're hooking nine, second, looking at those nine second cars hand. now. <laughs> What's that? I keep looking at this Mariners, man. I love that Mariners. Oh, the Mariners oh. is fire. That colorway yeah. is sick. Legend of Zelda. Leon, do you like that one? I like it. I like it. Um, it's different. Did, didn't make your cut though. It didn't make my cut. You're weak. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if I could buy them all, I'd just buy them all. But like, you know, no. But right. the, come on, dude. That Mariners one. Yeah. Uh, did Chris, you get the Did uh, you get the, the California Angels? The no, but I might now. Now that I know it's a Fast and Furious hook. 
You like that series? That's Love it. Ugh. It's not like like musty TV, but it's like you're so far in that like if it's they come TV. out with a new it's one, you TV. just watch. It's, a mo- it's not TV anyway. It's a movie. Yeah, I mean, like we're so locked down that a movie's TV anyway. What's the difference? I guess. I guess. All right, let's move on, fellas. So we, we can't even buy barbecue stuff. We can't. Oh, Andre, you must be loving that one on the left. The one on the left is sick. It looks like a Toronto hat. I like it, man. It almost does, yeah. It's a nice looking hat. But I'm going to put that on my head. You feel me? So the one on the left super necessary. That Seattle, I mean, that San Diego hat proper. That yeah. thing's nice as hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I might need to rethink that one because that one looks like a Sun Devils hat. ASU, but it's San yep. Diego. It's yeah. a little, tri- little tricky trick. Is that what he did on purpose? No clue, but that's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Well, you're dubbing it a tricky trick as if you know he was <laughs> trying to trick people. I'm not saying he's trying to trick people, but like it looks like a Sun Devils hook. <laughs> but San Diego has nothing to do with Arizona State. No, so. but these are two. These are two more solid offerings, man. I do like these odds. Me too. All right, let's see what's next. Now we're getting to the minor league stuff. Oh, nice. All right. Brennington Marauders, right? Mm-hmm. That's a cool ass B. That is That's cool about logo. as cool a B as you can find. Mm-hmm. I like the, the Orlando one too. I think yeah. we got the Marauders for like five dollars, but it's a black under. So. Yeah, so I jumped on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a nice ass logo, man. Yeah, I like that, huh? And the Orlando Rays is nice too. Mm-hmm. Solid black. I I think I have that already though. Yeah, Hat Club dropped it. Yeah, I got the two tone. Yeah, still nice though. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you don't oh, have yeah. it, yeah. So, the one on the left is super nice though, man. So different, right? Like, like you never because it's a current logo, so you very rarely will see that with a gray bottle. Well, yeah. I, do they even use that logo? Maybe on a batting practice hat. Uh, I. Well, like in the last couple of years, because we bought their on field. Like Wait $5. a second, was that one? No, was that one Diamond Era? That B? That might be. I, I can't remember. I'm almost positive it was Diamond Era. Maybe I'm wrong. It's, it's possible. So many, so many I mean, it's, coming in out it's, of here. It's in there, like you know, whatever last five years, because we just bought it as an on field recently. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's That's take a look hard. at. Let, yeah, you do you like it, Andre, or no? Because you're not like you're not like as big into minor league stuff, so yeah. I mean, I do like some. It's it's more just like about what it is. Like if there was honestly, toppers is what's making minor leagues hard for me not to cop right now because they dropping so much good shit. And then also, I mean, like these two, I will cop both of these. Um, I definitely like the Orlando one though a lot. The Orlando one's cool as hell. You know, uh, I want them to. Do, you know, the Durham Bulls one. That yeah. has the Orlando hook to it. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, oh, right. The, yeah. I want them to do redo that with a gray bottom. The Durham race. Yeah. I'll yeah. You that. know what I'm talking about? Yep. That hat is so good, man. Put that in a green bottom and I'll buy it all day. I mean, in a gray bottom. <laughs> Somebody is yeah, coming I, out with it. Durham I was right. Race. The B was a batting practice hat. I yeah. thought so. It was that diamond era shit. That's oh, fair. shit. Now um, I might have to double back. And yep. I don't remember if I asked this one. But I don't know, something about like regular logos and you just change the letter, like I'm obsessed. Like Bluefield Blue Jays and stuff like that anytime. Yeah. You know, uh that that uh Philly hat, the Bratavia or whatever, change it mm-hmm. to the B. Yeah. Like I don't know. I just love hats like that for some reason. Because like you you expect it to look a certain way and then it's like different. So it's like yeah. kind of like, whoa, what's going on? These are badass, man. All right, let's see what's next. We've uh, gushed over those enough. All right, the Tulsa Drillers, man. That was my favorite. I, I like them both. I like them both, but that Tulsa Drillers is sick. That's like an Undertaker hat, right? I don't know if you did it on purpose or not, but just me, it reminds me of the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, a the ro- left- it's a Rockies hook. Are they a Colorado affiliate? Uh, I, no, they're a, they've been a Dodgers affiliate for a long time. So hmm. I don't know. Hmm. But the one on the no Undertaker. The one on the left is based off of Gundam for yeah. you and Gundam anime wing. fans. Yeah. Both super necessary, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's shit's hard. I like the one on the left a lot. Dude, these these colors just pop. Yeah, they do. I'm gonna mm-hmm. take a picture with the one on the right 
beside uh, Jason Mead's clink room hat. I like this one. The Undertaker. It looks like Undertaker, right? It does. Yeah, for sure. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. You don't I, see I, it. I, I. I'm not like a big um, wrestling guy. Me either. I'm not either. But I don't know. Just Undertaker vibes. Definitely. I don't even know who that. that is. You don't know who the Undertaker is? I know he's a wrestler of some sort. I mean, I, I don't even know what he looks. If you, I don't even know what he looks like. Fair enough. That's wow. I mean, no, he, I, listen, I want to say this. Wrestlers are, I watched wrestling as a kid with my dad. Yeah. So like, you know, Andre the Giant, Iron Sheik, yeah. Jimmy Fly, Snooker, all those guys. Yeah. And they're, they're tremendous athletes. They're all tremendous athletes. I will never take that away from wrestlers. They're tremendous athletes, but the, but it's fake. Yeah. yeah. It's, I just don't, it's I just can't invest into that stuff, you know? <laughs> I feel it. Yeah. Can't let it ruin your day when they've already decided. Like what's going to happen. And Jason just said that classic uh, comeback. It's scripted, not fake, you know? Right. <laughs> no, it's fake. It's all our... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, if they're I walking into like... the ring knowing who's going to win, I don't want to watch it. But, I mean, wait, so you don't think pro sports are like that? That they know... scripted. Not scripted like wrestling, no. Bro, the, the, the I'm going to be honest. The reason why I don't like pro football is because – the, there's nothing worse than watching a game and literally non-play side players are fucking walking off of the line. Like, dude, dude, watching Randy Moss growing up literally destroyed NFL for me because it was like, if the ball wasn't going to him, he just walked off the line. It wasn't even, it's so just like, ah, nobody even cares. It's just about the bread, which I get, but it's like, you know, shit. Eh, Randy Moss was kind of an exception. I mean, yeah, he was a, you know, a god. That's a lot of people are like that, though. It's just, you know, I don't know. I like, I like full effort, not part effort. Well, I will tell you, I still don't, um, I still can't picture the Undertaker in my head. So let's uh, <laughs> let's move on to the <laughs> to the next uh, group of hats. All right, we got we got, a, we, got a, we got a slave owner on the left, and we got the Woo Sox on the right. So. <laughs> I know you had to go for the Woo Sox. You're definitely going to go for that Woo Sox. I doubled. I double. I'm doubling up on that thing because yeah, the Woo Sox. For those that don't know, Worcester's the home of the emoji, right? It's mm-hmm. it's the home of the emoji. So okay, um, their their uh, their normal primary logo is that happy face emoji that's batting. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one, I think they did such a good job with that little heart kind of in the W. I just think it's a great logo, man. It's got it's it's just a great logo. And it's got a gray under. Um, I, I needed to jump on that. You know, listen, I was kidding a little bit before, but honestly, I don't buy anything with George Washington or um, I just they made don't. it look like money. You think? Yeah, this is the color of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, Fair enough. Frederick Fredericksburg Nationals. Yep. That's it. Listen, I'm going to say that's a genius way to <laughs> kind of put together a hat, right? Yeah, it's the right yeah. way to do it. It's just not my uh, my not my cup of tea, but I it is it. it is it does look good, man. It looks like a dollar bill, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. no, he, did, he did a great job on that one. I'm not putting slave owners on hats, though. I'm not going to. Yeah. 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 Gotta go. Yeah. And uh, Chris, uh, Chris, I knew you were going to like that Woo Sox because we've talked about it before. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So let's uh, let's move on, fellas. Uh, that's it. That's it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that was, listen, that's a good drop. It is. I found a few more I need to try and get. If I get a few more, I'm done. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to. You guys need to stop me. I might need yeah. that too. <coughs> well, I will say this was um th- those were were uh were were fantastic hats. And for those out there um that haven't liked the video yet, if you could do that for us, that'd be great. Considering we went to a lot of links to be able to get these um these pictures to kind of show everybody. So mm-hmm. it would be fantastic if you g- give the video a like. This is something that we want to continue doing. Um, but obviously, um, it, it, it costs us quite a bit of time to get this sort of thing done. So um, please like the video um, and support the channel. But what do you what do you guys think? So your last last takes on this drop. It's hard to do big drops like this. Um, it's like you kind of have to set your action plan, like like how many I'm going to go for. What's his free shipping threshold? Mm hmm. He does have points. That's cool. 
I wouldn't use the points in the first hour or so. My best advice, just to make sure you capture what you want to capture. But I, you know, we're trying to give you guys as much time as possible so you guys can kind of strategize and kind of chart out your plan of attack because, you know, like there's a lot of hats you see like that you want and then you go on and like, oh, sh- I want that one too. Like, yeah, I want that one too. So you kind of have to, you know, that's what the, makes it hard. The beauty of this though is honestly, um, I believe whatever, you know, the first two hats you want, you'll most likely get. Correct. Yeah. Yep. There's a ton of balance here. So it's not like there's one hat where I'm like, all right, that's the one. They're all kind of the one. Do you know what I mean? Like if there's no Rockies hat here, like with the mountains, there's none of those like hype hats. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is a spot where people are going to be able to go on and comfortably get to maybe three or four if they want to, you know, and, and, and check out as long as they're quick and they're on top of their game. Um, because they're, I, again, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, I don't want to knock it down. Right. This is a great drop, but there's not two hats that like rise above the rest. They're just all solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even if I don't get my first two hats, there's another 16 that I'd be happy getting. So. Right. Right. And that's my yeah. point. And that's what I love about what they're doing, you know, and not just mm-hmm. that the restock element, it, it, it actually alleviates a little bit of the pressure. Right. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, do small over. runs either. Like, no, he's not man. doing any 36 runs or 18 runs. No. So, there's a good chance that you're going to get something. He's hitting us with quality and quantity, which is what, what, what everybody needs. Right. So, um, Andre, any last words from you, man? We skipped over you a little bit. You didn't get a chance to kind of no, last I mean, words just drop? basically what you guys said solid grades. Y'all know how I feel about that. shit. Um, I feel like those are the best hats to get because them shits are never going to go out of style. 10 years from now, you're still going to be rocking them, but you might not be rocking those pinkies. So I feel like go snatch those up. And I don't know. There's a lot of solid shit in there. A lot of solid shit in there, like you said. So yeah, fill the sock drawer. Yes, sir. (laughs) Fill the sock drawer. For some reason, someone keeps uh, asking uh, Jason in the in the comments of all the videos. Not this one, Jason. Where does Jason store his hats? Uh, I don't. Why, I don't know why it's such a topic of discussion. I I only own like four hats. So there's seventeen there's on your seventeen shelf in your background. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna I'm leasing those just I'm for leasing them. Those are rent to own. Oh, rent to owns. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So um. So these. So Leon, the particulars again. These drop next Monday, correct? I believe so. Yes. All the right. Twenty fourth. Yeah. So. Listen, take a chance, rewatch the video, maybe make your list of what you're going to go after, what order you're going to go after. Um, you know, maybe, uh, Leon, when we put the video up, we'll pin a comment asking people which, you know, what their top three hats are. So we can get some mm-hmm. interaction, have some people um, share with us which hat they're going after. I'd love to know. Um, which one do you think sells out first? Hmm. It's, it's tough, man, because I, I have to see them all again, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. but um, I don't know. I don't know. Huh? Which one? Detroit. Detroit, maybe. Yeah. yeah, Detroit. Yeah, I can see that. Only because that logo is hyped. You're right. You're mm-hmm. right. I miss mm-hmm. that. That is the one hyped logo. Detroit's like on fire right now. Like, there's like four or five logos that like mm-hmm. people cannot get enough of. It's funny, man. They go, they go through those kind of those sorts of like you know. I it's like know, the waves right like, now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's because for a while it was one. like it was like Arizona. Yeah, um, Colorado. Like eye, that Cleveland hat is starting to get like that too. I feel like it's it's which one like, the eye? Yeah, it's like three more good hats away from people being like, oh shit! No, you're right. You know what holds that one back though? Honestly, is the lack of the side patch. patch. Patches. Yeah, There's patch. There's no good yeah. patches that go with it. That's the only thing that's hold. You're right. You're right, Andre. If there was if there was one or two quality side patches they could do on that besides, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't. Besides the American League one, yeah, that thing would be on fire right now. Could you just put All Star Game patches with it though? They could put, yeah, any yeah, of, any of the other uh, of the other teams, yeah, of the other teams. It just wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta come up with some wild story to make it happen. Yeah. Like Kenny uh, Lofton uh, destroyed this game, you know, Kenny leading Lofton's up into the All Star initial break. is I, and yeah. he played at this. I mean, it's just like Travis crazy. Hafner just DH'd it this year. I hated Travis Hafner. I like Travis. I have a Travis Hafner jersey. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> they used to call him what do they call him Shrek. Yeah, they used to call him Shrek. He, he, he does yeah. look like it. Yeah, 
He was great one DH. Of, he was one. He wasn't great. He was a good <laughs> DH. A like great DH that. would be in the Hall of Fame. No, not necessarily. He's going to be great. Like I think an exceptional DH is in the Hall of Fame. A great DH. Well, the only, there's only one. Let's him. be clear. There's only one DH in the Hall of Fame right now. It's Edgar Martinez. Edgar. Yes. The second the one, one will be Poppy. Yes. Hafner. No, he's not sniffing the Hall of Fame. And Hafner mm-hmm. wasn't a DH for that long. He was a first baseman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a fact. I mean, he's not a great fielder. I mean, what Tommy? No, went no, there he was a ter- he was a terrible fielder. Yeah, and Tommy went there. So, how do you fuck up first base? <laughs> well, watching not, um, not catch the ball. I'm watching Vlad transition from third to first. It's you. You can fuck it up. Not stretching right. You know, not reaching at the right time. Taking your foot off the bag. There's a lot of ways you can fuck up first base. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's wrap this puppy up. <laughs> That's a yeah. discussion for another day, right? So. Yeah. Uh, guys, thanks for doing this again. Um, I know uh, Andre's always excited to see a bunch of gray bottoms, so he got his yeah. tonight. He was rare and ready to go for tonight. But I really want I really want to thank you guys uh, again for all the work and all the effort you put into this. Um, with that, uh, Leon Bigfella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments which of the having drops uh, particular hats you guys are looking to target. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, check out our podcast available on all major streaming platforms. Until next time, stay fitted. We out. Peace.